and a happy day it is. I'm delighted to say that Honey Rider, with assembled hangers-on, <laughs> has joined us here and is going to burst into uncontrollable song, aren't you? Oh, absolutely, just try and stop me. She's come all the way from Beaconsfield. It's a long trek. It is, hasn't can't been easy. Thank you for giving up your time. I walked. Say hi to Honey Rider, to Lindsay and co. We've seen them twice at Leamington Assembly Rooms and the Birmingham Academy. They were the first gig I've taken my daughter Rachel to, who's now 14. Fabulous to see how the music has grown. Wonderful to hear them today. Isn't that oh, how great? nice. An unsolicited testimonial. And, of course, you're named for that woman who, whose name escapes me now. <laughs> came out of the surf for Sean. Sean. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ursula Andres. Ursula and Andres, yes. Ursula Andres, oh, yes. yes. yes, yes, yes. She, she was a fine, fine lump of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about yourselves quickly while you can. We're, 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 we're slightly short on time and we want you to sing your first song and then we'll talk at some, some length afterwards. But So how, how and when did Who it all we? happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been working with Jay since 2009, actually. We um, released our first album and you and Steve and Janice Long and various people were, supported us, which was fantastic with our, our first album rising up and in the last sort of three years it's taken a while this album I, I sort of had a sprog in between times so that sort of halted mm. proceeding slightly but um, we've, uh, we've written Marley's Chains this album mm -hmm. and we recently got we heard of an alpaca farmer up north who played guitar <laughs> and we decided we'd get him on board this is M Matt to my left here. you didn't bring any of those kindly <laughs> animals with you to, to, to they're at home aren't they yeah, yeah they're, they're just parked at home at the moment. Uh, introduce me to the rest of the gang. Who are they? Well, this Who's is John, our producer. Hi, John, the producer. Yeah. Good he, man. He, he belongs at the back. He knows He knows where he belongs. And then we've got Chris over here on bass. Yeah. They're accompanying us today. And then obviously Jason to my right, Hello. part of Honey Rider. Excellent. Would you... Um, could I ask you to burst into, into, into we're something? We're going to do it right now. Wait, really? Is that, Gosh. Yeah. Is that right? We're going to sing Worlds Away, which is actually, you had an exclusive yeah. on it last we, week. You we played, played it, it last week and everybody yeah. thought it was fantastic, so we thought we should have you in here live. When you're, when you're ready, <laughs> don't, don't rush it. <laughs> He's very laid back, our producer. Good man. There's no We're both in this room How can I lie this close And still be worlds away from you My arms are always reaching out It's 
you know that was quite good? <laughs> so enthusiastic, I love it. I know. It's well, we we played it before, and I said, "Hey, we got a terrific reaction." That's why you're here. Now, that's from your second album, Marley's Chains. Yeah. Funny that you call it Marley's Chains. So, Dickensian. It is. It's, it's an odd title, but I we went to Nashville, and we got the chance to write with some amazing writers. And one particular guy was called Emerson Hart, and we went to his ranch or ranch, as I should say, and. Um, started uh, started writing with him and I just had the idea that I wanted to I'd seen the reference of Marley's Chains and I thought it's a, to, you know to write a song about regret I think we're always saying that we, we shouldn't have regrets but I think sometimes things happen in life that you have to actually accept happen and and learn learn to live with it rather than just saying well I don't have the regret some things happen you know we make mistakes and so it, it, the song is supposed to be positive um, and learning how to you know how to how to deal with the mistakes you've made and find coping mechanisms so Marley's Chains was released in August and Worlds Away is going to come out on the 22nd of October it is yes. so we've anticipated the delights that lie ahead and later on in the second spasm of this <laughs> what passes for a radio program you'll be singing and chatting Beautiful to us again will you? Second, yeah. i'm looking forward to being part of the second spasm what's this can briefly you had a competition on your website for fans to win a gig in their own living room yeah we, smart work we have the winners the mellows and we're going up there next week to manchester to play in their living room and drink jd hey we'll talk about that in just a moment <laughs> With me in the studio, Honey Rider, just straining at the bit to let you hear their fine music. In just a moment, give them a chance to settle. My special guests are Honey Rider, folk rock band from London, it says, Lindsay Omani and Jason and Matt and various other hangers on. <laughs> and uh, we're delighted to have you because, as I say, we played your record the other day and it was so well received, we thought we must have you in. And you've already vindicated our choice with Worlds Away from Marley's Chains. You're going to sing another one shortly. But I was just intrigued, because just before the news, we were talking about this competition you've held. Give me a bit more detail on that. We just, um, we thought we'd ask people um, when they, if they bought the album, if they could take a photo of them in, in an unusual place. And uh, we had loads of entrants, and the, but the winners were uh, a family called the Mellors from Manchester, and they were in Florida. And there's a, there's a track on our album called The Orange Tree, and they, they basically found a building which had the orange tree written on it, and they, they stood outside it with it. And the two little girls were gorgeous. They, they had their, the album, and they took a photo. So they were the winners. But it actually turns out they're incredibly well-deserved um, winners because they, um, um, the mother has actually been, has experienced cancer, and she's, she's getting over it at the moment. But a lot of the songs mean a lot to her, particularly the orange tree on the album, because she's been battling with cancer. And so we're just so excited. We hope we, hope we do a good job and go there and give them a good time, give them, so, give them you know, yeah, a good party. So will you be in their lounge? We're going to be in their lounge, in the salon. Yes. The, the sitting room. Yes, sitting the, room. Probably the best room. On the sofa or the couch, I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> the more? chaise long. The chaise long. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, well, that's great. It's a, it's a really good thing to do, and I'm, I'm delighted you've had such a good response to it. So, um, just on the detail that, that your new album was recorded in Nashville. Now, I've been to Nashville. There's a church on every corner. Is <laughs> sure the buckle on the Bible belt. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's true, for yeah, sure. But there's a lot of talent there, isn't it? Extraordinary. Unbelievable amounts of talent. It was quite daunting, actually, because yeah. everyone plays guitar, everyone sings, and they all sing very well, and they play guitar very well. <laughs> so yeah. we luckily, we did our homework. We, we went with loads of ideas. Went, we went with concepts of songs and riffs and all sorts. So when we turned up at these... I mean, some of them were like wordsmiths, really. They're, they're poets. They're, they, they concentrate on the lyrics massively, which is good for us, because um, we, we learn a lot. And, um, and we turn, you know, turn up at these places, and they, they were just very down-to-earth, lovely people. But we were writing with people who had number ones in America, so hmm. it was quite a big deal for us. And, of course, it, it's a little intimidating working with the kind of session musicians that you're going to get in Nashville. Exactly, exactly. That, yeah, how did, yeah. These guys just listen to something once... And then they've just nailed it. They'll, they'll record it one go. And, just and it sounds like a record. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It's just when you walk down Music Row mm -hmm. and there's people 
singing in bars and in windows, yeah. Yeah. and they're singing better and playing better guitar yeah. than you've probably ever heard in your life. Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah. The next factor. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, but they, they are really, yeah, they're very talented, and so we, we really learned from the experience. We wrote about 10 songs um, in our, we were there for a few weeks, and we ended up recording, yeah, a couple of songs out there just to get the feel of Nashville. Mm. And um, so Marley's Chains, I suppose, is our most Nashville song on the album. The rest of it is a, a crossover of, you know, pop, rock, um, and, and folk, all our, all our influences. You spent, uh, it says here, you spent a great deal of time just hanging around the beach in Thailand. <laughs> yeah. So we on. just lay about, we, really. We what? just, yeah, we just hang around. Is your life given over to pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> We're surf dudes, aren't we? No, we're not really. We got the chance to go to Thailand because we knew someone who'd uh, just opened up a studio and he used us as guinea pigs to test all the sound out. And it was the most unbelievable opportunity. We went there for a month. And we wrote, uh, you can't say that, we wrote in Belfast, actually. We, we started writing it um, in Belfast Empire. But we um, continue writing it out there and all the instrumentation, all the solos and, and melodic riffs were written out there. And I think you can tell because it was such a an amazing, beautiful surroundings, mm. the atmosphere that we kind of absorbed that, didn't we? And, and yeah. so you can't say that. The track we're going to play for you in a bit is very summery, even though it's quite dark, the lyrics, it's, it's quite a summery feel. Yeah, it's a lovely place, uh, Thailand. The people are so sweet. They're they? amazing. One of the people. best things about Thailand, isn't it, the people? Yeah, the yeah they're, so, they're super yeah, friendly and the yeah. food's great. And we just, we just sort of, uh, we're in the studio and we didn't really leave it for about, you know, three weeks. We were just really um, into the music. and But it was, yeah, it was superb. So yeah. where are you off to next? Where can we hear you? Where where can people see and hear you? And, and, On Radio uh, 2, Terry, and of course. Cheer. Yeah. Yes, but, but see, we can't, you can't see the radio, you know. <laughs> That's true. We've got a few dates in the UK coming up. We're hopefully going to go to Belfast at some point too. Um, but we've got a few dates coming up which are being confirmed as we speak and they'll be on our website, honeyrider.com. And then we're going to start international promotion um, for the rest of the year. We're going to go to Europe. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think for most of the information, you just need to go to the website because we can't retain details like that. We're just musicians. <laughs> well, I, and I, I, at my age, I can't remember a single thing anyway. So, so there you are. But that, that's terrific. And I'm sure wherever you go, you're going to be received with loud applause and cheers. Thank you. And thank you for Thanks so much us. for your support. Oh, really come on. Radio I, support. We wouldn't it's have supported you if, Steve, you, if you weren't worth it. I mean, come on. Thank you. you can do it. Uh, you're going to do You Can't Say That, which is also from Marley's Chains. It is. It's from the album, yes. Good. So, thank you. Okay. It's Honey Rider. One, two. One, two, three, four. Hopeless dream, trying to catch the moon. I wake alone with a heavy heart. Nothing seen.
losing all sense of reason You've taken it all away So I take it back now I take it back Cause I've been veering off the track I find my own way back It's not too late to tell you that Go Jace Wonderful contribution. We've had some really nice reaction from people listening in. Hannah says, loving Honey Rider. Wonderful poetic songs. I expect Isn't to see you great? with your Honey Rider hoodie on around these parts, Terry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what you don't know is I'm wearing it already. <laughs> I think blue's your colour and yellow. I think it suits me. Oh, the so. yellow, yellow is more me, isn't it? it yes. Yeah. Brings your eyes. Brings your eyes yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Well, you're not. You won't be coming back then uh, in a hurry to us, will you? Oh, not well, after that crack to. about the yellow eyes. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> now we thought we thought we'd love you and leave you with your, with memories of Nashville. We got with Billy Joe Spears, the singing harpoon, Super. and blanket on the ground, <laughs> Honey Rider. Welcome guests. Come again. Come and look at-